Welcome to the weekly vlog. I am in my pajamas and it's midday. If you are new here, hello, my name's Adele. I post three videos a week. This is my weekly vlog. It is a long video, but I hope you stay to the end and I hope you subscribe too. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I love you. You guys are my fucking favorite and we are getting our shit together now because as I said, I'm still in pajamas. All I've done so far and I've still been productive. I've edited the weekly vlog from last week. I have also washed Franklin and now I'm cleaning my room and I'll have a shower after this. But let's get into the mess that is my room. You know, it's a proper clean when you actually have the Mr. She now and you're dusting everything as well. I also really need a solo date this week and I also need to buy myself some flowers because my room's looking a little bit flat, we'll call it. Anyway, I'm gonna vacuum up everything once I'm done. I've not dusted in so long. I'm actually a bit grossed out by myself <laughs> at the minute. Anyway, I've been busy. And I let my books get dusty too. It's not good. I don't want them to think I don't care about them. Room is clean. <laughs> I just had a quick shower and I'm gonna get changed. I'm not doing makeup because honestly, Hey guys, it's freaking 1.30, 2 p.m. I just ordered sushi on Uber Eats. I feel like if I'm past the bulk of the day, I'm not having makeup, I'm not making that effort. And I kind of want to go for a walk either at the gym or around later just at sunset because I've done no steps today. I haven't gone to the gym and I just kind of want to get some activity in. 30 minutes of exercise is all I want. And so I don't really want to wear makeup to that either. But let's pick out a cute comfy fit because then we're going to edit the vodcast and the podcast, the audio and the video, but I do it at the same time. So it's just one, a lot of editing. Mum and I just ordered bubble tea because we ordered sushi. And what did you just say? I said the one that you make is nicer. We haven't had this for over a month, I would say. Yeah. Three weeks, because mm -hmm. I've been doing Cup 49 and Cup 49 is better. Which is not a bad thing, because it's cheaper as well. And I actually love it. Oh, but did you just hear dad? Mm. <laughs> Dad's in the shower blowing his nose like a fucking trumpet. Still a vibe, but mine's better. Our sushi hub has arrived. We're just sharing the little individual ones. That is Carla's lonely California roll. And then we're just having this beautiful salmon, veggie, prawn, big sleigh with bubble tea. In typical Melbourne fashion, it's already raining now. It is dinner time. I'm gonna go get the food. I think I need a jumper though, because it is freezing. We're getting can you tell them <laughs> yes. that I lost a vote? Well, you lost a vote? KFC or McDonald's. Oh, Dad. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going what, to say. Do, what would you get if you got KFC? I'm not telling you. I'm going to get KFC. He really wants KFC. That's how you kill a spider, guys. Just like oh, that. Oh, she's a that, <laughs> Just like that. You're Die. A Die. It's a baby. I don't give a shit. You painted him white. <laughs> I hate them. Let me see it. He's well and dead. Let me see him. Flick it over. Turn it that's over. The, that's the top. Turn it over. I don't know what that is. That's fucked. It's all right. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. It's from the Titanic. Yeah, but look at the two little dogs. How cute they are. It's, he's, he's on that trend, guys. How cute is that? <laughs> Let's go. We should put you in that trend. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm driving. We did the double, guys. Dad got his KFC. Is it all right? Thank we got you. Look at the large chips we got Mackie D's in here. I think that's my cheeseburger. Oh, they squashed my bun. I think that's Mum. No, my bun. Oh, <laughs> I think that is for Mel. I think that is for mm. Carla. Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, they gave us twenty nuggets. I only asked for ten. They gave oh, us yeah. extra nuggets. <laughs> Sweet and sour. And we got apple pies too. Uh, now you receive an you you receive an email. Uh, yeah, guys, we are doing Kris Kringle for Christmas this year, and we're using a website called Draw Names. It's like an electronic version because we were going to do this old school, and then Dad was being difficult. <laughs> I was being difficult. Oh, it was actually Carl who was being difficult. <laughs> I think it's being done. Franklin, stop! Come here right now. Franklin's like, what about me? Franklin, you'll get presents from everyone. Come here, look what I've got. Over here, sit down. All right, Dad, has have you guys all done it? I'm um, still doing my wish list, y'all. No, what do you mean? Go I'm making my wish list. In the app? Yeah. Did you already confirm your email? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> look at you guys, Gen Zs. Is that what you are? What Gens are you? What do you mean? I'm Gen? a millennial. What generation are you? I'm the fucking same generation <laughs> as you, you dick. I was born like a year later. Guys, everyone's got their Kris Kringle. I've got no idea how to do it. Dad, relax. Look at mum, she's really concentrating. <laughs> what? I didn't see you What's that? 
It's over you said, our bitches. We're going to draw names, make a wish list and draw a name so that everyone has time to buy a gift. Hurry up, bitches. You <laughs> <laughs> call me bitch. In the app. Messages. Podcast edited, vodcast edited, vlog up and running, and it's Saturday night. I'm really proud of myself. Okay, I have to be quick because my camera is dying, and I just want to say thank you to my editor, Sam, who edited the essay video because that gave me more time in the week to edit the weekly vlog and then it just made editing the vodcast easier and having her help is just going to be life-changing for me and I'm really happy about it and so tomorrow I can enjoy mom's late birthday celebrations and not have to worry about editing anything on a Sunday which makes me really happy and Franklin and I are going to head to bed now he's going to stay here because I just I don't know after last night I don't want him to be in his own bed again so he can stay with his mummy and he loves his toy by the way this the toy from Peter Alexander. So cute. Anyway, we're gonna head to bed. Look how sweet he is, my little angel. And we'll see you nice and early. We're gonna go to the gym. It's our last session for the week. And then we're going to do something really fun, which I'll take you with us, of course. Good night, guys. We are going to the gym. Happy Sunday. I'm so happy I woke up with enough time. Here is the fit I'm gonna wear. I've already had a coffee. I will take you to the gym. Let's go. All right, ready. I've got my active wear on. I've got to say goodbye to you. I'll be right back. Mwah. Look how cute he is. You look so handsome. You look so soft and fluffy after you had a shower yesterday. Love you. <laughs> it's really humid today. It's not even sunny. It's another shit Melbourne weather day, but I'm absolutely sweating up here. I've got two minutes before I need to leave the gym because we have to get ready. Anyway, this has been week one of my program. Just three sessions and it's a sweaty one. I asked for a sweaty one. He gave me a sweaty one. So... <laughs> Thanks coach. Anyway, so excited for this morning guys. I can't wait to show you. Showered and ready and I'm gonna take a jacket too but it's really humid as I said so I feel like I'm gonna be all right. I'm just in jeans and this top and my sneakers and I told everyone nine o'clock but really it's like 9.15 but I knew that they would be late so. Secret hack when you have family members that can't be on time. <laughs> We're running late, of course we are because no one knows how to leave the house on fucking time. <laughs> and look at them walking so slow. Run the Del Fora. What's that? Hurry. We have Just a drive. we have a booking. Yeah, but it's three minutes. It's three minutes. It doesn't start on time. I hate being it's late. Sunday, the I hate being late. <laughs> this is where we are, art masterclass. We are doing a Turkish lamp workshop. How cute. So, so pretty. So we are practicing the designs on the paper first. So this is what we're doing today, guys. We're making one of these, which is just so, so cute. The Look at the concentration on everybody's face. <laughs> My pot is coming along. I've done two designs on it. Everyone is so silent. I've never heard dad be this quiet in my life. <laughs> Show us dad. I'm just trying to get it symmetrical. These are for the bottom. Looks perfect. I'm trying to get it straight. Look at the concentration over here. Mm. Carl is a professional at this. Show us with that. Absolute slave. Mum's gone rogue. I went rogue as well. I started a design that is not on here. It's very fidgety, but it's very calming. It's very therapeutic. They've just come and given us some Turkish tea and a little biscuit. Carla's looks different to mine. It smells yum. Okay, I'm convinced Carla's cheating because what the fuck? How is she so good? <laughs> How are you going, Mum? I'm good. She's making a love bite. Dad's got too much glue. No, but I'm trying to get my fish. I got my fish. So here is mine coming along. I've chosen the pink theme. The balling part is very messy. We've got balls everywhere. Very cute though. At the end, I'll show you all of ours and then you can rate who has the best one. We are all done and she we have to finish the plastering when we get home, but that was a lot of fun. They asked us to leave a review. And that's what you do to support businesses or things, you leave them reviews. And you can also buy other pre-made lamps as well. Or any of these bowls, which are very, very pretty. We are in Footscray now because I got told that this place here does the best barn me and I really want to try it. Family day out. Driving nightmare. <laughs> You're the one driving, not me. How many backseat drivers can a driver have? You got three. Or four. <laughs> We've all got band me. Very excited. Okay, compared to the other one that I had, this one's better. It's called the French baguette in Footscray. Thoughts? Mm. <laughs> Dad? Delish. Mel? Delicious. It's really good. So, so good. Hi. Hello. He wasn't outside, by the way, guys. Dad was out there. Dad walked in. Hey, we're back. We're back. We're back. 
<laughs> We're back. Oh my gosh, it's all right. We're going to do the grocery shopping now. I just had a 10 minute nap on the couch. I'm so tired. Concentrating on that little mosaic. I think that, yeah. Class put me to bed. <laughs> Mum won as well. I put a poll up on um, what Instagram. Did I? Yeah. Awesome. You've, you're in the lead. But I'm going to post a TikTok. We'll see what TikTok says. And we'll see what YouTube says because I feel like maybe I didn't take the best photo. Oh, thanks. <laughs> we did the shop in record time because dad wasn't with us and didn't make us go down all the aisles. Smarty pants. <laughs> We're quicker without him. That's a sight I haven't seen in a while. Uh, What's happening? Uh, just, cause summer's coming up and I want some vitamin C from the oranges. Are you manifesting sunshine? Oh, I'm just hoping there's gonna be a sun. <laughs> I'm just hoping we're gonna have a summer, but yeah. <laughs> These there's are good, bit. where did you buy them from? IGA, I know you don't like IGA. I don't like IGA. But look at these guys. They're, fr they're a sh great um, one. Yeah. Product of Australia. Wax. Valencia. Yeah, Wax. it doesn't matter. Yeah, we don't use the peel. <laughs> I don't use, I don't need, I, we've tried the peels. No one mentioned do the peel for the really We tried the peel, that's a and bad idea. And we've tried processing this in these ones that have gone through twice. Not a good idea. It's very, very bitter. Very bitter. Anyway, I'll show you the finished product. Dad, when you're done, call me. We got takeout, guys. We did do the groceries, but we simply could not be bothered cooking. Does anyone want to see mine? Yeah, show us. It's hot, Dad. Be I didn't want a pizza. I wanted a... Uh, one, you two. can't stuff this up. No one can stuff this up. Oh, wow. That looks good. What is it? What's that? Chicken parmigiana. What do we call it for short? Parma. But the proper pronunciation is chicken parmigiana. Yeah, but, but they call it parmi um, everywhere else. Australia, we call it parmi. I don't, I, not in Melbourne. All the Italians will get upset In now. Melbourne, it's parma. In Adelaide, it's parmi. Anyway, I got oh. a, oh, I'll show you my pizza. Your Hang on. Chips. I got a cabotrosa, that's for me. And then we also got a garlic one because Carla and Mel will come home shortly and they can have that as a snack. Yum! I remembered to make bircha for the morning and dad's juice. These are for us. He'll take that to work tomorrow, but yay. Good morning. I've just made the bed and we've got the heater on. I have also had a coffee, so I'm, I'm awake now. It's so cold in Melbourne today. Anyway, we're gonna go to the gym. I actually have a bit of a dilemma and so I need to let my manager know before nine o'clock. I was meant to film some content on the weekend for a brand deal, but what I was meant to film is was a bit like physically impossible. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do. And the content's due today, but I still have before 5 p.m. So I might be able to have a little miracle, but we can work that out together. I also really wanna watch Dead to Me on Netflix or Wednesday on Netflix and I don't think I can remember the last time I've just sat in front of the TV and done fucking nothing. So maybe we do that later if I can get everything else done. Let's get ready for the gym. Ooh, a new angle unlocked. I'm just I'm filling up my water and then we're gonna go to the gym. I'm just finishing my workout with a walk on the treadmill because I don't feel like walking outside today. I just wanna walk on here and watch TikTok. I'm just gonna do a 30 minute workout, like a 30 minute walk. But look what happened. My Apple Watch thing came off. I don't know how that happened. Very annoying. Brecky, we have Bircher again. Happy, happy days. I'm eating outside. Got little Franklin out here. He's gone and sat in the sun. It's just still a bit too fresh. I put my jumper on, but yeah. I'm gonna eat now, have a shower, and get into it. I've written myself a list so that I can feel a bit more prepared. I am filming content, so of course we need to have freshly washed hair. I needed to wash it anyway. And my sister just woke up, so I'm gonna see if she wants to come to the market with me. I'm excited to film this content because I think the message behind it is really important, but it is a difficult piece of content to execute. And when you see it go live, you'll understand what I mean. But I'm gonna try and make it as amazing as I can for the brand. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I've just got a tea and black jeans on today. I'm excited to film this content. Carla's gonna come with me and we're gonna take you along. So let's go. Guys, we're at the market. Which market are we at, Carla? We'll see. Slay. Slay. <laughs> oh, Carla's got mates here because <laughs> she usually does her own little stall. We'll show you what we get. Well, that was fun. Carla, what did you get? Um, got a basil. We got some jam, got a candle. Great little haul we've got here. Wow, I really fucked up tonight. It's 10 p.m. 
I did not show you my dinner. I did not show you anything I did this afternoon because I was manically sorting out all of this stuff for my accountant because he got back to me and I just had to update all of my expenses, all of my payments, and I keep track of everything myself. I don't use zero or anything like that. I literally use an Excel spreadsheet and I got stuck into that. Then I had to edit the content, send that off for approval. And then I had dinner and I put my camera in my mum's car and she went to the doctors and she was out from like, I don't know, 5.30 until after dinner. And I couldn't even show you what we had for dinner. We had the chicken skewers and some fried rice and it was really yum. It was the skewers from Aldi. Anyway, I'm gonna have a shower and quickly jump into bed because tomorrow's another big day, but I will be a better vlogger tomorrow. I didn't ask me anything too, which it was nice because I hadn't done one in a couple of weeks and questions were good. I always get nervous when I have a break, but I love doing them. So yeah, I was happy about that. Anyway, let me quickly shower. I'm ready for bed guys. Look at him with his ear flipped. <laughs> I love you. Sweet dreams. Good night. See you in the morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I don't even know what day it is. Also, if anyone has recommendations for a screen protector or whatever you put on your Apple Watch, let me know because mine, I got a new one yesterday and it literally just slid off again. Very annoying. Who have I got here hiding behind me? Oh, it's you. How was your sleep? Oh. Do you want to say good morning to YouTube? Say hi guys. He um slept on my bed as well last night. I'm going to get ready. I'm going on a solo date and I will film a separate YouTube video for that. So if you want to watch that one, go and watch that one. Let's go in the shower. <gasps> All right, I'm looking more presentable and I'm awake. I'm gonna have to go for a walk later. Maybe when I have my therapy appointment, I can walk and do that. Or I might have to go to the gym. So obviously I slept in a little bit this morning. I have jeans on, a white tee, runners, blazer. I'm going to take myself on a solo date for breakfast. And then I'm going to meet with my mortgage broker. She wants to have a catch up. And so I'll see her. I'll tell you guys what we chat about. And then I am going shopping because I've got an event on Thursday night. I've got my Amplify Christmas party. Amplify the company that manages me and so I need to find an event outfit and I'm hiring it. I'm not subscribing to buying something new every time there's an event like this. I say that now but I might so don't hold me. <laughs> don't hold that against me. Okay? Okay? Alright, let's get in the car. Alright guys, well my breakfast lunch date has been a fail because I've gotten here way later due to traffic and there's also not one place for me to park. So I'm going to just head straight to the meeting with my mortgage broker and then we will come back and have like lunch here I guess. I really want to go to this place and yeah, I just I can't get it to happen now. So I'm a bit annoyed but we'll make it work today. I'm determined. <laughs> okay, so that went really well. We just had some coffees and caught up because I haven't seen her literally since I settled the property and she just wanted to check in, see how I'm going and yeah, it's just quite nice because I think from a broker perspective, she doesn't have to do that but I found the whole process of going through a broker very beneficial and I would recommend that if you are looking to buy a property but we are now currently at this place called One Night Stand Boutique. I'm not actually too far from where I was, about a 10 minute drive and we're gonna go find a fit for Thursday. So wish me luck. Okay, so there's no mirror in here which I can't show you but I'm going with this one. It's actually so cute. I can't wait for you to see it. I think it's perfect for the theme. Tried an orange and red one on but this one is the vibe. I thought we were never gonna have the solo date today because it just took me 15 minutes to find a car park. I'm back at my favorite cafe and this is where I am doing my solo date. And so, yeah, I'm excited. If you wanna watch that video, watch the one before this one. Also, that dress is sequenced. I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's just hanging in the back seat. And now I feel itchy. Now I feel so itchy. All right, let's go. I'm home. I've just put on a t-shirt and shorts. I filmed the solo date. Little Franklin's here. I've got a therapy appointment now. It's four o'clock, but I'm going to walk while I do the therapy appointment and I'll see you when I'm done. Guys, I fucking love my psychologist. She's a queen. Some stuff has been going on and she just basically helped me work through it in a practical way and gave me something to do next time it comes up. And that's what I love about therapy. Like I learn such legitimate shit that like it will change my life and it will help me. Uh, I obviously want to share what's going on, but I also don't because it's like deeply personal. But yeah, I'm just really struggling to like navigate dating and navigate that whole world and i want a partner so like i'm gonna do it but working through it is like highly anxiety inducing for me but i'll share more once probably i make some progress i feel like that's fair for now though i'm gonna make dinner we're making vodka pasta because mum's at work i cook on tuesdays i cook a few nights a week but definitely tuesdays because she's in the office so i'm gonna put on a playlist a high vibe playlist i'm gonna make some food this is the vibe mum just got home i also got a delivery which is from go to we'll open 
than that, I've got my pasta sauce coming along and then I'm boiling the pasta water. I love rigatoni, but it honestly takes so long to fucking boil. It's annoying. But we carry on. I've got a little... Hi, Frank! Can you see him? Little Franklin is watching me. After this, I have to plan the podcast episode because I have not done that. And we record tomorrow. Although, I do have all of tomorrow morning as well dedicated for that. And I've got a video to edit. I was going to get Sam to edit that one, but I think I've got time. So, I'll just leave her with the vlog. Here is our dinner. We have the garlic bread from the air fryer, the pasta. We've run out of parmesan though, which is very upsetting. I just opened the package and... <laughs> It's from GoTo. They're so cute. Look at them. They sent through an advent calendar. 12 days of GoTo. That's really, really cute. That's so exciting. Should we open it? Yeah. <laughs> Mom's like, show us now. Oh my God. Oh, that's really cute. It's not December 1st, <laughs> but you can pick a number. Number 11. Glow, glow, glow. It's a little oh, that's face so cute. roll. <laughs> that's cute. All right, there you go. And I'd leave it in there. Yeah, you can have it. You pick Aww. number 11. What one should I pick, guys? Number nine looks cute. What did you <laughs> it's a little baby. The Removalist, which is one of their masks. It's a clay mask. That's really cute. I kind of want to open everything, but maybe, maybe we don't. Maybe I open it throughout the YouTube. Oh, box. then put this back in no, there. No, that's yours now. That's yours now. But you put yours back. Yeah, because whatever. Oh. How cute! So I went for a walk to just, you know, get some steps in. I did a TikTok live. It was still daylight at like 9, nearly 9 p.m. and people were freaking out. And then I was like, hmm, today stressed me out more than usual. What's going on? You know what it is? PMS. And I just realized, because I ate the whole lot of these. I just ate six King Cats. That's not normal Adele. That's PMS Adele. <laughs> it's like an insatiable hunger. Anyway, I need to get the fuck to bed. I've got a podcast to record tomorrow and finish planning. Good night. Love you. <laughs> Guys, tomorrow we're getting up early. We have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow, including packing our bags because we're going to Sydney. And then I need to record a podcast. I need to get my nails done. I'm going to get Christmas nails and I need to edit. So slay. We're waking up early. I'm calling it 6 a.m. wake up. See you then. Happy Wednesday. It's podcast recording day. And I woke up early. So let's head to the gym. Already in active wear. Already had a coffee. Already fed Franklin. Already ready to smash the day. Let's go. Workout done. To be totally honest, guys, I am fighting for my life. <laughs> that was really hard. But anyway, we got it done. I'm just feeling a bit, ugh, you know that vibe. But the sun is shining. It's going to be a glorious day. We're going to make the most of it. Let's go and eat something. I'm eating my brekkie outside and I'm listening to a podcast. It is called My Therapy Session with Esther Perel. It's Abby Chatfield. It's a lot. And it is like a therapy session on a podcast. I'll link it in the notes. Listen to it. They're chatting about infidelity at the moment, but it's just so interesting. I love Esther Perel. She's fucking amazing. And I'm going to keep listening and eat my brekkie. I've got little Frank out here too. Let me show you. I already gave you some blueberries and strawberries. He wants to go inside. I feel a bit like Steve Jobs today with the turtleneck. <laughs> anyway, I'm wearing the same blazer I had on yesterday. Pair of jeans. At this point, I feel like this is my unofficial uniform, but I just didn't want to wear active wear. I'm going to get my nails done. I'm recording a podcast. I want to feel cute. The vibe is low, so I'm trying to lift the vibe. And yeah, I'm going to jump into work now. And it's currently 9 a.m., so I'm pretty happy with my progress today. I don't have that much of the podcast left to plan. And then I'll just jump into some editing until about 1 o'clock, because that's when I'll need to leave. So yeah. The podcast is ready to go. I'm just going to make some lunch quickly. Having the leftovers from last night, because I don't want to record and be hungry. Nothing worse than recording a podcast while being hungry. And then I'm going to get my nails done, so I want to make sure that I actually actually eat because I won't eat when I get my nails done. Patiently waiting. I'm so excited to record this podcast because the topic is just, it's relevant to right now and I think it will help people. And I always say, I want to give you guys good value. I want to give you guys the content that you want. And so, yeah, I'm just happy. I'm proud of this episode. This tastes even better the next day, guys. I'm thinking that we might go and see if you buy a Christmas tree girl. Mm -hmm. And with the... Beginning... Yes. Oh, wait for me. I'm going to be away. <laughs> Okay. I don't know if it's a real one, I don't think you 
that pasta was so good. I'm full and I feel mm, good. I didn't want to record <laughs> being hungry. I'm in the studio as you can see and I'm going to jump in now. So I'll see you when I'm done and then we'll go get our nails done. I don't know what to get guys. I just posted a TikTok and everyone's saying something different and I don't know. There's too many options. Maybe I get Vicky tissues. Oh, guys, I'm so sweaty after that. It's really hot in here. That was actually quite a heavy episode and I'm PMSing so I'm like fuck. That sounded so bad, but I feel like it was all right. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> it will be fine. I'm just being a negative Nancy. It's funny. Whenever I'm PMSing, I think that the content I make is shit. I think that the podcast is shit. I think that my vlog is shit. And you guys would be like, no, it's the same. Like, <laughs> like it's so fine. Oh, fuck my PMS. Anyway, we've got eight minutes in here. So I'm going to make some TikToks and then we'll head off to get the nails did. I did not take any TikToks because I feel ugly today. <laughs> I'm laughing, at least I'm laughing, I'm not crying. You know what I feel like? Lollies or chocolate. If I hurry up and get my ass to the nail appointment, I can quickly run to the servo and get some lollies. I'm late. I did not have time to get lollies. I'm already two minutes late. So annoyed. Traffic was so bad. Why is traffic getting so bad yesterday and today? It must be Christmas time. Look what I got. <laughs> Christmas nails, they've got little candy canes on the thumb. They're so cute. And then we have a red tip, a glittery middle finger, red nail theory. And then we have some candy cane stripes and a glitter tip. I love these nails. So cute, so on brand for Christmas. All right, let's head home and eat dinner. So I just had dinner. Everyone loves my Christmas nails. And look what we have, a real Christmas tree. It's so small, like so tiny. Very much giving small dick energy. <laughs> Oh, sorry, mom. <laughs> anyway, I feel like it needs to be zhuzhed a little bit, you know? I feel like it needs a little bit of zhuzhing. Anyway, this is the before. We'll show you the after in one second. There we go, guys. It doesn't have small dick energy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's so disgusting. cute, isn't it? No, I'm saying it's cute. Yeah, but look at it. Now it's a vibe. It just oh. needed some personality. Very cute. Good you choice. Love, yeah? Yeah, there's pine all over the floor. What do you mean? From the pine needles. What do you mean this pine? Pine, pine. Sa Sa pine Sa juice? Yeah, Ew. Pine juice. I've packed my bag and I'm just letting Franklin stay here till I get into bed. I'm gonna put him in his own crate. Oh, you're fully kissing mummy's face. Thank you. Lucky she hasn't done her skincare yet. <sighs> I'm gonna miss you. Anyway. Oh, thank you, sweet angel. I'm gonna have a shower and get into bed and we're gonna try and get as much sleep as we can before this flight. I'm flying out quite early. I don't know why I book these early flights. It must be because they're cheaper. Although all these flights are so expensive in December. But anyway, I booked a 6.30 flight tomorrow. 6.30 <laughs> flight on Friday. What the fuck is wrong with me? And I still don't know what shoes I'm wearing, what bag I'm wearing. I wanna try and get pedicure tomorrow and I wanna try and get my hair blue waved. But let me have a quick shower and then I'll come back and say goodnight and then we'll head to the airport. All right, guys, I'm gonna say goodnight. I am in my Chrissy PJs because tomorrow it's December 1st. Slay. I'm gonna say goodnight to little Franklin. This is not the last time you see him in this vlog. I will be home on Friday midday, so you'll see him again then. All right, don't have to say proper goodbye to him. As for you guys, you'll see me tomorrow at 3.30 in the morning. Let's do it. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. Good morning, guys. We are going to the airport. I only have Honestly, about 20 minutes to quickly have a shower and get ready. I'm not doing my makeup, so we're all right. And I slept in the Christmas onesie. Merry Christmas. I swear, this is like my airport outfit. <laughs> you know the drill. I've got my little carry-on. I'm gonna have to still check that bag in because it's too heavy for carry-on, which is fine. I needed my makeup for tomorrow. I also brought my hair dryer, my shampoo and conditioner because I'm gonna wash my hair, I think. Unless I can, like, by a miracle, find somewhere to give me a blue wave today in Sydney. Really leaving at the last minute. But let's order the Uber and go to the airport. Goodbye, little angel. I'll see you when I'm home, okay? Sweet dreams. We are here, guys. The airport is all Christmassy. It's so cute. It's very busy, though. That's why I didn't film back there. I'm just walking to the gate. My gate is very in a very weird spot. Can you tell I slept on the plane? <laughs> Oh god, guys, I don't know what was going on, but I was sat next to a guy that was like giving the energy of Joe from you And then someone in the vicinity smelled really really bad. I was trying to block my nose the whole time but Anyway, I'm at Sydney Airport. I'm just waiting for my bags. I'm a bit hungry I also booked in a blow dry at 11 a.m. So I could have not brought my hair dryer hair straightener <laughs> Anyway, maybe we should go get some food. I think I want to drop my bag, get some food, get a petty, get my blow dry. And hopefully they let me check in early because I've got some editing of the podcast to do. That would be a perfect day for me. And look, my nails are so cute. 
they let me come into the room already. I just came and I was like, can I drop my bag? They're like, the room's ready. So I'm gonna do a, t a room tour on TikTok. It's fucking massive because I was meant to be staying here with somebody, but I'm just by myself now and that's fine. All the room for activities by myself. I'm gonna quickly head down and get a pedicure and then head to my blow dry appointment. It's actually terrible weather here as well. Overcast and cloudy. First day of summer. But anyway, I can't believe it's December one. I'm excited. Okay, let's go. Okay, I feel like a very efficient queen because it's midday and I have had a blow wave. I just got a blow wave straight. I don't know how I'm gonna do my hair tonight. I might leave it straight. And I also got a petty and I've got sneakers on so you can't actually see, but I'm feeling good. I'm so glad I got a chance to do this here because I was really worried in the lead up because I'm wearing open toed shoes as well and I haven't had a petty since the last two times I got my nails done. And my hair just feels so much cleaner after the flight. We need to get some food though. I'm really hungry. I am about to order food, but I did have to get a little snack because I haven't had breakfast yet. And so I went to Woolies. I got my blueberries. And then I had a cheese and biscuit pack. And I bought a bubble tea. I got a lychee oolong. My first lychee oolong. It's got aloe in it. The paper straw is killing my vibe. And they're getting stuck in there. But I love it. I don't know if I should order Zeus or Maccas. I'm coming back to life though. And my hair is going to settle. But I just feel so much better with it washed. So happy I got that done. I'm just having some lunch. A proper meal. I got Zeus. Because I always crave this in Melbourne. But I don't think that we have it. I looked it up and I couldn't find any stores. Do I have time for a nap? I might have a cheeky 15 minute nap. I also have to edit my brand deal for Ikea. I didn't put it in my calendar and then I forgot about it. Also forgot to pay a bill because I didn't put it in my calendar. My brain is becoming forgetful. I think it's just this time of year. I need to write it down, otherwise I forget. I'm getting old. <laughs> Okay, I was in a little bit of a hurry and so I didn't get a chance to show you before and after, but I just had my makeup done. She did a beautiful job. I wanted to still look like myself, not be super heavy. It's like glowy, soft glam, but like smoky, but not too smoky because I feel very much me with this. And she did a great job. I'm gonna link her Instagram in the notes if you need a Sydney makeup artist. She's so beautiful. And yeah, she's just an angel. So beautiful. Yana, I think that's how you say it. Or it might be Jana. I think it might be Yana. Anyway, she did an amazing job and I'm fucking so happy. And I can't wait to get ready now. So I'm gonna do a little bit more work and then I will jump in the dress and fix my hair. I'm doing my Spotify wrapped for the podcast. And you guys are fucking amazing. I know not everyone who listens to the podcast. I know not everyone who watches my YouTube listens to the podcast, but I am, my jaw's on the floor. It's just beautiful, you guys. I can't even tell you, like, I've been going through it with this podcast in the sense that it's so much work and I love it. And I've been comparing myself to other podcasts and I've been thinking, like, how can I continue to grow it and how can I do better with it? And I don't get any help on it. Like, I cannot stress this enough. And it's fine, but it's hard when I'm managed by a company who manage other podcasts for other talent and I don't get that support. And so it's hard when I then compare myself to that talent or those podcasts and I know I shouldn't do it. And I, I tell you guys not to compare yourself. So I need, to, I need to do that to myself. But just seeing this is just beautiful. I think I needed it because I, ha I have had a rough morning today looking at all the stuff my management did for everyone else whose podcast they look after and I wasn't included <laughs> and I felt a little bit sad. Sad, but this is nice and I guess it means more because I do it on myself and I guess it means more because we're community built I wouldn't be here without you guys and it's yes I do the work but it exists because of you so I love you guys thank you I'm trying not to cry I just got my makeup done I'm gonna share these in an actual Instagram post look it says you and your fans have something special I don't think you guys are fans I think we're fucking family I hate I hate when people call you fans we're family we're in this together anyway I'm gonna put this in an Instagram post so go have a look because it means a lot to me and I fucking love everyone <laughs> Guys, she's ready. I'm heading off. I'm feeling better now that I'm done up. I was just taking TikToks on the fucking balcony. But let me show you the final look. It doesn't even do it justice. It does not even do it justice. But I love it and my makeup came out so beautifully. I'm so happy with it. I'm not even wearing jewelry with this dress because it's so extra, but I love her. The one thing I'm gonna say about this brand, they don't put clasps on the back of their dress. So like, I feel like I'm gonna bust a tip basically. But anyway, we carry on. I'm gonna head off. I'm gonna leave the camera here. I will see you guys when I get back. I'm home.
bathroom. I quickly took off my dress and jumped in the shower before I could come on here. <laughs> I just really wanted to get into bed because I'm tired. So I'm going to say goodnight. I had a really good time. It was beautiful. And I got to meet so many creators who I have followed for a really long time. One of them in particular, and I don't think he'll watch my YouTube, but Chebo, bless him. If you know him, he is on TikTok. He's on Instagram. He makes burgers. He's got his own burger company called Chebo's Burgers. And I've not tried one of his burgers, but he is probably one of the first people I really followed on TikTok and he's just an angel and it was so nice to meet him in real life and also nice to meet my manager Emily <laughs> in real life because I hadn't met her before. Obviously I was upset about some of the podcast stuff earlier and we have a meeting on Tuesday so I will talk to her about it then. Otherwise what happens is I'll build resentment and then that just won't fester nicely. It will fester away in a bad way and so I need to address that. But yeah I guess it's nice having this outlet because I can talk to you guys and even though I'm talking to myself right now and I was talking to myself earlier I'm still talking to you guys and it just helps me like rationalize stuff too and I'll probably journal on it as well and obviously sleep on it until Tuesday but yeah it wasn't the time and place to obviously bring it up tonight and I didn't kind of want to put a dampener on the mood you know but yeah it is what it is and we can do it the next week but I have a very exciting weekend coming up and I think well yeah by the time this vlog goes live you will, would have seen it but I'm doing something with Facebook well, Meta and Red Bull this weekend, which is fucking epic. It's so cool and I can't wait, but it's just a full on few days. So I'm going to say goodnight. We're going to go to bed. We have another early flight tomorrow because then we're going home and we're recording a podcast with Tash Invest. And I'm so excited because her episode will come out. It'll come out on the 18th of December. So not next week, the week after. I'm excited. So yeah, she's from Perth and she's going to be in Melbourne today and tomorrow. And I'm flying back very early so that I can record with her. Because I really want her on the podcast. I think she's amazing and I think you guys will love her. And my content comes first. We've got to hustle. We've got to hustle. But good night, sweet dreams. I love you guys. Thank you again for showing me your Spotify wraps today and commenting on that post and sending me sweet DMs and just really making me feel valued <laughs> and loved today. And I don't know, I think I put so much love and effort into that podcast and it's nice to know that you guys appreciate it. I put love and effort into all my content, but I feel like the podcast, it takes more energy from me, if I'm totally honest, compared to every other piece of content I produce. I don't know why that is, probably because it is, we do discuss deeper things, it is emotional, it is heavier, usually. I love you guys. Anyway, I'm rambling. I gotta go to bed. Good night. I'll see you nice and early tomorrow. We are on our way home, guys. I'm tired, not gonna lie. I will sleep on the plane, but I'm awake. We're gonna go to the airport. Let's do it. I'm not hungry either, but I could go with coffee. I could desperately go with coffee. I'm at the gate and I got Maccas. So good. We are in Melbourne. I bought a coffee. I'm gonna smash this and hopefully my morning plan goes to plan. I need to do my makeup still, but we're on track. I cannot believe what I have done this morning. I deserve a fucking medal. I caught an Uber from the airport back home, did my makeup in eight minutes. Okay, all right, it's not that great, but it's pre it's presentable, it's all right. And now I'm at the podcast studio and I've got the car, so instead of catching Ubers everywhere today, I don't have to, because I've got the car. After this, I've got to quickly go drop off the dress that I hired, which is in the back seat there, and then I've got to pick up a gingerbread house, and the gingerbread house is close to the dress shop, so it's at the same spot. And then I gotta go home and edit, but I think on the way home, I might get stop and get some decent lunch because I've all I've eaten today's Maccas and I'm pretty hungry and it's only 9.50. And so yeah, I'm very much excited for the day because I feel like everything has gone so smoothly so far. Touch wood, nothing fucks up, but I'm happy. I just recorded with Tash guys and I met her for the first time today. I've followed her for a long time and my mind is blown. She's just so knowledgeable. She articulates herself so well and I'm very much excited for this episode to drop. That one will drop on the 18th of December. I'm pretty recording a lot of stuff just in the lead up to Christmas because it's going to make my life easier but it's so good I can't wait for you to hear it part of me is like drop it early but I'm like no stick to the plan because then you'll be better over the summer break because the studio actually closes over Christmas and New Year's in the first week of December which is panicking me anyway we're going to go drop the dress off now I'm really sad because I love her I love her so much after this, we'll then go get the gingerbread house and then we'll head home. Okay, the dress has dropped off and now I'm at Bake Me, Cake Me. And look at this place. It's amazing. Look at these. 
and there's also a pool that you can dive in. How cute. And the whole place is decked out in pink. It's amazing. So this is my little gingerbread house, guys. I'm going to take him home now and we will decorate that maybe next weekend because I'm going to be away this week and so are mum and dad. It's just so, so cute. I love it. Also, I forgot to show you, I'm finally home with little Franklin. I did see him this morning when I stopped to do my makeup and drop off my suitcase, but he's still so happy to see me. And I ordered myself Procaro for lunch because I haven't had it in a while and the weather's good. What are you doing? He's sniffing me. I know. Mummy needs a shower. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that little tail go. There are some flies out here, but I'm going to eat outside. I've got my poker. The sun is out. Little Franklin is there. It's nice. Too many flies out here though. Don't know why. I miss this. I've not had this in a hot minute. I'm going to drop this all over me. I'm quickly running to the post office because I haven't checked the period box in like four days or three days <laughs> and I'm posting this. Okay, it's actually 4.55. The line out of the freaking post office is so long. I just don't have the time to do that and so I'll come back. It's got to wait till Monday. I'm not lining up in that line. I feel like every time I've gone to the post office the last week, it's been because of Christmas. That's what I think it is. I'm just packing and putting all my fresh clothes away. But can you see the sun coming in here? It's so hot in my room right now. It's actually unbearable. I'm fully sweating. It's really, really full on. It's the worst. This house, in the morning it's cold. Of an afternoon we get cooked because of the sun positioning. Dinner is here and then I gotta quickly eat and then we head off. Oh, we need some tomato sauce. Anyone gonna drop some uh, tablets on the floor this Friday night? <laughs> I'm running a bit late, but I'm gonna order an Uber right now. I'm going to head off, just find out where I'm actually going. So we are staying at the Sheraton. Christmas tree is lit. We're going to the Sheraton, guys. So just ordered my Uber, he's six minutes away. I will show you when we check in. I am ready for bed, but I still have a vodcast to fucking edit. <laughs> It's all right, I'm gonna get it done. Whether it's tonight or tomorrow night, I'll get it done. I think I'm gonna curl my hair tomorrow too because the blow wave is sitting kind of funny now. It's gonna be gappy. Let's go. <laughs> okay, it's late. It's like 9.30 and I've checked in and we're staying at the Sheridan and it's beautiful. Also, I'm glad I'm not sharing with somebody because there is a glass window that separates the toilet, the shower, and the bedroom. Every time I've, well, this is the second trip that I've done with a company and this one is with Red Bull and Meta or creators or Instagram. There's a few different things that we can call them. And I've been putting my own room every time. I don't think they would put you with other talent, but look at what they've done on the bed. We have a bag. We have a Reels Squad shirt, which I'm excited about because that's who I'm basically here with. Reels, well, Meta. And then we've got a tee. Look, a little bucket hat and a little toweling bucket hat. You bet I'm going to be wearing this to the beach. Oh, it's a little light. And then a bum bag. What do they call those? Eshays? And look, a little power light. It's so funny because when I was in South Australia, every single talent had one of these. Every other creator and I was the only one that didn't have one. And they were like, you'll get one eventually, trust us. And I got one. <laughs> now I feel like proper. <laughs> And there's actually two beds in here. I'm giving you guys the tour in this one. And then over here, we've got a little something something from Red Bull. They said, welcome to Melbourne. Snap in for a weekend of thrills, spills, and plenty of fun. Stay energized while you're here. And they've given us four different types of Red Bull. I used to smash this back in the day used to smash it. I loved it. That was like my pre-workout at the gym. <laughs> Haven't had it in a while, but I'm just excited because we're here for the Billy Cart race, which is cool. And obviously the element of the meta relationship is really important to me. And so when it came up, I found out about this not that long ago, like probably earlier this week. And I was just stressed leaving Franklin, <laughs> if I'm honest. And so I obviously said yes. I didn't really, I didn't want to say no because I think it's important to obviously build relationships and network. And I feel, I felt okay to take it because it was in Melbourne. Does that make sense? Like I'm not too far from home. I'm 40 minutes from home if I need to go back for whatever reason I can. And I just think it's a cool opportunity. I'm here with some other really big talent. And I don't know, I guess I have severe imposter syndrome. And you may have seen that manifest with like the podcast and it manifested a bit in South Australia. And like, 
like I, I can fully appreciate that being out of my comfort zone is going to make me feel like that. I'm feeling it in a different way compared to how I felt it in the corporate world. It's interesting. I'm just being very self-aware, <laughs> but I am so wholeheartedly grateful and so incredibly just overwhelmed with like joy and love at the same time because holy shit like i'm in this hotel room with instagram and red bull sorry <laughs> i always say like creating my dream life i fucking am and it's thanks to you guys so thank you and i will always continue to express that gratitude to you and i will always be self-aware and i will always share like bits of this and share my in internal monologue as well because i don't know i think from the outside people may see oh it looks all shiny and nice but like that imposter syndrome is a bitch and I suffer with self-doubt and I suffer with like do I really deserve to be here and comparing myself to other people but yeah <laughs> I think it's just all part and parcel of being in this industry and I think I felt it in my corporate job in a different way but I still felt it so it's just interesting to watch it come out like that but guys I'm gonna wrap the vlog okay because we have a busy weekend ahead I'm not separating next week's vlog it will run as per usual uh the next bit of content or actually the vodcast podcast would have already been out by the time you watch this the next bit of content i don't know what it's going to be it'll be a youtube video i might put a poll up on youtube and get you guys to vote or if you have a request for a video please put it in the comments and if you are somebody that has wanted content and you've requested it and i've not done it write it again <laughs> i'm sorry i do keep a list of everything but now sometimes the list is too long and i'm like oh what do i even do that's why i like doing the polls anyway i'm obviously chatting shit because i'm tired i'm like overtired but i will see you guys in the next video i love you have a great week ahead if you are feeling overwhelmed and if you are feeling stressed given that we are in the silly season please listen to the podcast episode that came out this week or watch it because i feel like it will help you all right i love you guys and i'll see you soon bye